Hey everyone, it's Benicia, your community outreach specialist, and today I'm out at this beautifully, lovely building that is about to get demolished. So we are out doing a breaching training because we can just kick down doors and break stuff without anyone yelling at us. But I know we're not the only ones out here. Um, one of our trainers is running it. Kaylor, I believe you guys have met him before. All I know about breaching is that I was told I can kick down a door. So someone else will explain to us what that actually means and why it's important. So let's stay tuned and see what we can get into today. Okay, everyone, hey, I am with Senior Training Analyst Kaylor for us, PSO. You guys have seen him before from the SWAT Roundup video, from SWAT tryouts, from SWAT school. He might do a lot with SWAT. Say hey, Kaylor. Hey. <laughs> why is it important to breach and why are we out here today for breaching training? What is breaching? Breaching is getting into locked stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, that's short, simple, <laughs> to the point, getting into locked stuff. I like it. Okay, why is it important to breach? So we're on day three of mm -hmm. the ballistic and mechanical breaching. Mm -hmm. um, started off at the PSO range where we were hitting um, just soft doors, getting the mechanics of it down. Soft doors. Soft doors. Soft doors. And then we have a great venue that we we're able to come mm -hmm. out to, mm -hmm. um, and it has a lot of hardened doors that we're able to barricade and give the officers some more uh, realistic training. What is the difference between a soft door and a hard door? Because I think like. Uh, like easy access, like the push doors, is that a soft door? Soft a door is like door? A, a light wooden door, like an interior wooden door, and then- Okay, like a bedroom or, right. okay, okay, game room, something like that, hard doors. There are heavy metal doors, fire doors. Okay, okay. Um, double doors. Okay, soundproof doors. I just made that up, I don't think that exists. All right, so why is it, in, where, when do you want to breach? When does it come into play as a sheriff's office, as a police department? When, when do we breach? So generally there's initial breach, so the outside doors. What we're teaching mainly is interior doors. Mm -hmm. So um, we've been using shotguns to breach uh, into the interior doors and then mechanical tools, saws, uh, hydraulic jacks. The ram. The ram. Your boots. Sometimes you Halligan just need to tools, kick it down. a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like a SWAT scenario. So that's right. where it comes into, right. guys, it makes sense. He does a lot with SWAT. This is for those that are on SWAT. Makes sense. Is there anything that like the common person needs to know when it comes to breaching? Is there something that like someone could take away from this video to take home if something? No? Maybe if you want to break into something. So we're not going to suggest <laughs> that, guys. So never mind. It's a joint training. So oh, I forgot. Yep. So FWC, Tampa PD, Temple Terrace, mm -hmm. uh, Pasco, uh, Air Force. Mm -hmm. and There's one more. We had the fire department out. Okay, okay. So every I just want to point out, it seems like guys, what I show you from our trainings, a lot of different counties come to Pasco to train with us. I just want to say hashtag Pasco Proud. Just want to throw that out there. It exists. You can say hashtag Pasco Proud. Hashtag Pasco Proud. I appreciate. I didn't think he was gonna say it. <laughs> yeah. buildings that like you want to run around and like explore that like you see in your neighborhood that you just can't because it says no trespassing but this technically isn't trespassing but it's a haunted mall please wait no you ruined mall. it no 
you guys don't understand. I don't like creepy stuff. Like, I don't. What? I feel like I, oh, okay. As we continue to walk down this random long hallway, we're gonna assume that the banging noise we hear are from people that we want to talk to. The reaction starts to spread at that point. If you need to readjust it whenever it's in the door. Just loosen it back up, it goes back down, and then ensure you tighten it back down before you do it again. All right, so let's get a couple people on this one, on that door over there. I have a rescue blade, they're like all purpose blades. Um, I go with like one of the diamond blades or something designed for cutting steel or metal if you're going to attack something like this. Uh, the blades switch out really easy. Um, they just have a little wrench on it, put a new blade on it. Generally with, with the kits on these, carry all types of blades. So carry a metal blade, um, carry an all purpose blade, just you want to have options. So we have Lock this. This is the existing one. This one's probably going to be a little bit harder to cut just because it kind of bends and stuff. Um, keep in mind, it doesn't have a lock on it, but what's easier to cut? Is it going to be the lock or the chain? Let's attack whatever's easier. For this, we're just going to attack the chain. But then we can also hit the chain link fence if you need to just strip it down and bend it over like that. You can pull it a corner back. Or I'd probably do it the other way. Um, and we'll just see what the blades we have on here do. So on ours and Pasco, I already primed it, but it's typical power tool. Prime it, pull out the choke, make sure the, the stop isn't on. I put my foot in here, pulls it down.
Okay. Something here. to think about. You're going across the way. The shotgun doesn't always have to be the last man to stack. If you know that, all right, like you're in a hotel or something like that, and you know there's lots of doors to come with a shotgun, I might bump the, the shotgun person every second to stack. Here, and it was a more positive breach because he was taking out the, the actual back of the door can blow out as opposed to catching it in the steel frame. Back in. Yeah. Are you recording that? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> If you guys haven't already, like this video, comment if you thought something was interesting and cool, subscribe if you haven't. I think we're on episode like 96 at this point, so I don't know why you haven't already done so, but we will see you next time. That was easy, that was simple.